Hey everyone, welcome back to this awesome channel. So friends, the topic that we are going to discuss in this video will be React custom hooks. And friends, if your subscribe button is still red, then please click on that subscribe button and make it gray. So friends, let's see what is React custom hooks. So friends, hooks are reusable functions in React. And with the help of custom hooks, we can reuse a component's logic in multiple components. And friends, in React, custom hooks start with use. For example, use fetch. So friends, this was a small introduction about custom hooks. Now let's see how we can code this. So friends, I hope my screen is visible to you all. And so friends, this is a small component that is app.js in which we simply have three states. One is to set data, one is for error handling, error handling, and the last one is to show the loading state. And friends, inside this use effect, what we have done is we have simply made an API call using fetch. And this is the URL that we are fetching. Okay. And over here, we are uh, first, we will be showing that the data is being loaded. And once the data is loaded, we can set it to false. If we have the data, then we will set the data, else we will set the error. Cool. Now friends, over here, what we have done is, we have simply rendered the title, that is a small list of data. And if it is in loading state, then show this text, or else show this text. Cool. So friends, let's see in Chrome, like in browser, how it looks. So friends, this is something it looks like. Uh, this is the API call and this is the list of title. Now friends, let's suppose we want the same logic in different components. Then what will be ha what we will have to do is we will have to write this particular piece of code multiple times. So with the help of custom hooks, what we can do is we can avoid that. So let's create a custom hook first. So friends, uh, let's give it a name of use fetch.js. Cool. Over here, what we can do, it is a regular function. Okay. But we can do the, but we can use react states and all other stuffs inside it. Now let's import the state and use effect. Over here, what we are, what we are going to do, we are going to mimic the same logic. So first we are going to copy the state. After this, we are going to make the API call. Cool. So friends, I hope till now it is clear. What we can do is let's suppose our component two does not want to make this API call. It wants some another API call. So what we can do is we can pass the argument over here and we can use that particular argument over here URL. Cool. And friends, uh, yeah. So what else? As we can see over here in render, we need error loading and data. So what we need to do is we simply need to return few things like we are going to return data, data, comma, error, comma, loading. So friends, cool. So this is our small use fetch, which is the custom hook. Let's export it. And now I'm going to show you like how we can use this. So friends, to use this, what we can do is we can remove, let's comment this piece of code and over here, what we can do is const use fetch, import this and pass the argument because we need to pass the URL. So friends, this will be our URL that we are going to fetch. And from here, what we can do is we can destructure data, error and loading. Cool. So I hope till now we are all set. So friends, what, what is visible to us that all this line of code, all these lines of code, we can now remove them from our code base and we can reuse this custom hook in multiple components, wherever we want the same logic. Let's see if it is working as required or not. Cool. So friends, as we can see, the calls are made. Uh, let's see in the slow 3G. So friends, as we can see, this is the loader loading state. And once the loading state is done, we get our data. We can also like give a type over here and let's have a look. Uh, let me remove it. So friends, if we do not get the data, we can show error fetching data. Cool. Let's remove this. Yeah. Cool. 
So friends, uh, this was the small example of custom hook in React. What we have done, we have simply created a function kind of uh, code inside which we can take the arguments and we can use the state and we can use the use effect, all those React stuffs inside this use a fetch, which is a custom hook and all the data that, that is required by the component, we simply have to return that data. So it does not mean that you always have to return in this particular format. You can return like object also or a simple data also. And over here, what we need to do is we simply need to call it like we call a function and we will get the data and we can do the operations on them. So friends, I hope you have learned something new from this video. And if yes, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.